Octavio S is back with another update. Android version 12 based Octavio version 3.1 is what we've installed. It's available for some other devices and some devices are getting update very soon. This new update includes very interesting changes, some new features. Octavio Lab is also introduced, which was available in Android 11, of course. But yes, it's good. If you want to try out something different based on Android 12, if you're looking for a customer based on Android 12 on your device, try out this build for sure. If it is available for your device, the default launcher is changed. If you are able to see in the previous update, Octavius version 3.0, which was based on Android 12, it was the Pixel Launcher. I already shared with you that Pixel Launcher was introduced, but they will definitely replace it. Right now, Launcher is what they replaced. Everything else is just kind of same. The quick settings panel, of course, has some extra features. If you want to drag and drop any kind of tile, you simply need to click. You don't need to drag and drop or hold or place anything. It's good. It's quite useful and it's easy to use. I think so. It's good. And as expected, the settings also has different kind of UI for you. But if you're able to notice, the profile option is there, but about phone is not at the top, which was available in Octavio S version 3.0. So yes, it's now changed. The about phone is now at bottom and only major change, of course, is Octavi Lab. There might be some minor changes, of course, but we're not going to talk about those things. We have the major change called Octavi Lab, which is now introduced in this latest update. So yes, the customizations features are back. It's not about all the customizations which you get in Android 11. You are able to getting you are able to use in Android 12. But right now, some features are introduced and some are quite good. Let me show. Let me show you one thing. If you are able to see the quick settings panel, if I see the, we have the brightness slider at the bottom at the quick quick settings and the smart pull down option is also there. No dismissible, no ongoing or whatever you want to use. Let me tell you one thing. If you enable any option from there and if you want to check out this smart pull down, it will not work for you. Why it is not working? Let me show you one thing here. For example, this is enabled, but you need to enable another option called a quick, quick settings pull down. So if you have enabled this, then the smart pull down will work for you. And that's quite useful. By the way, I just don't use that much, but sometimes I use that feels quite good. I think so. It's good enough. Everything else is the same. You have the notifications, customizations, where the make heads the plus annoying customization is there, which I use on my device, which is very, very useful for me. Everything else is just kind of same. If you want to give it a try, you can. Octavi theming, yes. Now the Monet customization is also there, which means it will, if you want to use the wallpaper based theming, you can. If you don't want to use the wallpaper based theming, you can enable your own custom colors and you can even customize that. So that looks quite good. If you want to install this link to install the build is in the description. It's available for some other devices. Some devices are getting updated very soon. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.